Hi everyone, Kathy Sages with Cedar Row. Today I'm going to show you how to make a painted sun spinner. Um, I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but I'm um, probably a lot of people have just blank CDs or DVDs or just something that you know might have something old on it and it's no good. So you can just take one of these and paint it and create something really cool for it outside for anywhere, you know. So I'm going to show you how to make one of those. Um, and today I'm also going to be using my, what I use when I do my dot painting. Now there's plenty of dot painting sets out there and I have, I have several of them. Um, this one is a kind of a cool one that I've just gotten a couple weeks ago. So I haven't um, investigated it completely, but um, I tend to, even when I've been using the, these, I'll tend to go back to these just because this is what I know, because that's what I learned on. But I do need to, um, this is kind of a cool dotting tool because it's, it's, it's angled and I kind of like that idea. So I need to work on those a little bit more. Those are from Lydia May and these are Mark Mandela's um, and, and those are a nice set also, but um, again, I tend to always just go back to what I started on, which is this great um, Nyko punch set. And um, it was like $16 on Amazon, and it's got all kinds of different size dots that you can make. Um, a lot of people don't like these because they say they're too heavy. These are, they're, these, both of those are very, very light. But for me, I don't know, I guess I have strong hands and, um, the weight doesn't bother me at all. So I'm going to be using those, but if you don't have anything else, use the stuff that we, on our last video that we did. And if you didn't watch the last video, take a look at the, um, for household items and using um, drill bits, toothpicks, you know, because the drill bits are the exact same thing. It's the same thing as this type of thing. So that's the reason why if, I, if I'm going to use anything, it's going to be drill bits because that's what I feel the most comfortable with. But um, you can use drill bits because I'm going to do a design that is still something that's very simple to do with those types of household pro, um, items. I'm going to use five different paints. Again, these are all apple barrel except for this one. Um, but usually I use five in most of my designs. And then these are the ones I use for my top my top dots. This is the design. This is this is my what I'm making, my sun spinner I'm making. So this is one side, and then I'm going to be painting the other side. So um, I'm what I typically do on my sun spinners is create one's two different patterns on each side. Uh, you know, a pattern, a different pattern on each side. So I'm going to take the five colors that I used and then just create a new pattern for the other side. So, um, uh, but I, and, and uh, I will also show you, um, I also like to use glitter. I, I like to put a little glitter in everything. So there's a little bit of glitter. And what you do after they're dry, because obviously you have to allow one side to dry completely before you can turn it over and paint on the other side. Otherwise you're going to completely mess this up. So you have to make sure that you allow it to dry, you have good drying time. And then you turn it over and you paint the other side. Now, one of the things that you need to make sure that you remember is if you use an oil, you stick with oils. If you use start out with acrylics or water base, then you need to stick with acrylics and water base all the way through to the sealer. Because what's going to happen is if you use acrylics and you put on uh, a water uh, or an oil-based sealer, um, you're going to get some cracking. And sometimes that effect is kind of cool and I like it. Um, that, was, that was one of those little mistakes that I made um, that worked out for me. However, it doesn't always work out because you don't always want that cracking effect. <laughs> so um, now I use polyacrylic brush on. I just have a can of it polyacrylic um, sealer. So that's what I use to seal it um, both sides. So then there's no cracking. Now I'm going to show you 
because you think uh, some people have said well I don't have all the different paints obviously I have lots of different paints I buy different colors different kinds everything and so what I'm going to show you is how to do different gradients of of a color a gradient of a color so that you can ha you can en enhance your um, repertoire of paints so I'm going to take my darkest color this uh, cobalt hue and a white so you do need white for this it's much better to change colors of paints with white than any other color so I'm just going to put same amount of blue in each of these wells now and again do you need a palette no you can use a plate a paper plate I like using these but um because i have them and they're reusable and you're not throwing anything away but you don't have to have one of these and then in the first well i'm just going to add some white that's going to be my first color the middle color so this is going to be the darkest this is going to be the middle color get it nice and stirred up And then you put in double what you did before, or, you know, certainly more, to make a light, a lighter blue. So that you ha will end up with three different colors. And I mean, and you could just keep on going, you know, having all kinds of different versions, um, gradient of, of colors, but having three blues here this is this is good so you have light medium dark so that is what we're going to use in our painting so let's let me get myself set up here and I will show you what we're doing so now we're going to start with a blank CD or DVD and we're going to paint it with a just basic black acrylic Um, I don't have anything, a really large brush here, but um, usually I use a little bit larger of a brush, but you just paint both sides, and obviously before you paint the other side you have to paint, you have to let it dry, and then you can go through and paint the other side. You might need a couple extra, a couple of coats, but that's how you prep it. You don't have to prime it, you can just use two coats of black, black acrylic paint and that is, that'll be fine. So now here's the, the, the disc that I've already done one side on and I'm going to paint the other side. So I've got already have, have it prepared with the uh, flat black acrylic. I'm going to start with the, gra the three gradient of blues that we created. I'm going to take my smallest um, tool in my Nyko but it's a small, it's a very small tip. Um, according to this, it is a three, three, three thirty second. So very small. So I'm gonna put a dot around. I'm gonna go a dot around all the way around. So you do that by just kind of dividing the circle into fourths, so that we don't have to do any measuring. I mean it. And I can still get it off. I, you know, I'll still be off, but um, it's just a little bit off. It, it'll be okay. So I just prefer just to start and do instead of worrying about uh, measuring and getting anything exact. There are times to do things exact, and then there are times to say, let's just have some fun. And this is one that I like to just have some fun. And just do it. And if it helps you to move your, your piece, move it so that you have a better placement of your dot. Okay, so there we have our first row, and now I'm going to pick up the next in my tool set, and I'm going to go to the middle blue, 
and I'm just going to start a second row. So we're going to have a nice gradient of blues going from light to dark. There you go. So we have our nice three rows of dots with our blues. And now you can do something that's a little interesting. Um, you, if you have a circle, I mean, you can, and you can also do this before uh, you actually start dotting. But um, I have these great um, for quilting and scrapbooking. And so I'm just going to place this on here so I can do it while we're, while the, the paint is wet. But sometimes if, if you need to, you can also use these you know, compasses. You can use compasses to draw on. Um, all those things are, are very good. I'm using a chalk pencil because chalk pencils uh, come off of the black acrylic very nicely at the end using if you use a kneaded uh, eraser like this it'll uh, it'll come off so um, you I'm going to do a circle there because I want to separate from what's going on on the outside of the disc and what's going on on the inside of the discs so now I'm going to bring in my purple because again I'm using all the same colors that I used um, on the other side and I'm just going to use a big, um, this is going to be a, I can't even, this is a one quarter, a one quarter inch. And I have, just to let you know, I have 16 dots on my circle. So I'm going to go every other one and place a purple dot. at the circle. Now we're just going to take, I have these, these are called stylus. You can use anything else, but this is called a stylus. They're nail stylus, so they're very small, but they're great dotting tools. And so I'm going to use the stylus and just do a walk the dot all the way to the blue, the, from the purple to the blue, and go right in the middle, and that dot didn't turn out really big, so do it again like that. You just never, you just kind of want to play with stuff. All right, so we brought in our purple and we will use purple again, but now we're gonna bring in our yellow. No, excuse me, let's do green. And I have two different sizes on my stylist here. And this is the stylus I use the most. It's, I have this stylus and then I have this stylus. This one is a very, very small one. And then I have this one is a kind of a medium. This is a larger one. These are the ones I obviously use the most. So I'm going to use this, the medium size one here. And I'm just going to kind of walk the dots out from the bottom to the top, giving it a little bit of an up. So that's how we're 
do for that middle part. And now we're going to work on the outside of the disc. This is where it's going to get really fun. We're going to bring in these three blues and the yellow. We're going to make like little um, little flowers all over. So I am going to use, I want to have um, a smaller type of middle and a bigger petal. So I think I'm going to use this one for my middles and I'm just going to place yellow dots all over. Oops. Even so, sometimes <laughs> this can be very um, this is apple barrel and it can be very thin and that can happen. But I don't worry about it. It will be fine. Okay, so those are all my middles. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make the petals with uh, picking up all these different blues. So I'm going to start with the lightest blue. And usually you have five Oop, but I went a little small on that, so, and that metal might be just a little bit big, so it looks like six might be what I have to do. of it and bring in those other colors we're going to use smaller dots and we're just going to dot in the black around here and it's going to be purple and greens and we're going to use the stylist and we're just going to dot randomly but you want to have enough of a difference in the size of the dot from the flower petals. Just let this dry and then once it dries I'll come back we'll do some top dots and we'll be ready to let it completely dry seal it and get it ready to be a sun spinner so I'll be back once this dries okay well we are back after letting our disc completely dry and so we're going to put on top dots. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how using this kneaded um, eraser can help take off that chalk line. You just, because you want to make sure you're, you're completely dry, that your paint is completely dry. And then you just go around and erase it off. See, it, it goes off, it comes off very nicely. Um, you can see, you, you, you can't even see the, the, the chalk. Um, outline of the of the circle so now we're going to put on the top dots and I'm just going to use the same um, three colors and I'm going to go around and add something to each of the petals um, but first I typically you like to try to do go from the inside out because if you start doing something out here and then you go in here you start putting your hand in your paint so I try to do my top dots starting from the inside and come out. So what we're going to use um, uh, in here is I'm just going to put, I'm going to do a little bit of purple glitter 
because you know I like to add a little bit of glitter everywhere. So I'm going to add just a little purple glitter and I'm going to go ahead and just put it in between here just to give that a little bit of a sparkle. And I'm just going to take, I like to have a little glitter, a little glitter. We like to have a little glitter everywhere. So I'm just going to put it in here and just do a little bit of a sparkle. And now we're going to take a bigger piece um, and um, put purple glitter on those bigger dots, on the purple dots. So just come in here. And there you go. All right, so now let's go ahead and um, start working on the flowers. So all of our all of our top dots are done. So this is going to be one side and we're going to let that dry nicely and I'll show you how to put the whole thing back together so that um, you know how to make it into a sun spinner but one side is going to be with that. It's got a lot of the it's got lots of pinks and greens whereas this side has more blues but um, you know you want the same colors but different it's kind of nice that it's a different um, design. So we're going to let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, so we're back. Everything is dry. Our top dots are all dry. So I have not uh, sealed it yet, but I will. But before I get everything done, I want to show you how to put it together. So the things that you need, you can do uh, any kind of jewels or beads or anything you can hang off of it. I picked up these uh, these great pendant things, crystals, um, hanging crystals from uh, Amazon. They're really cheap, so um, no big deal there. Uh, also, in order to get it to spin, because it is called a sun spinner, use these barrel swivels. Uh, you find these in the, uh, these are for your fishing rods. And so you find these in the fishing section. I just got these at Walmart. They look like this. And uh, so they they swivel. So that's what you need for um, your sun spinner. I also use this. Um, it, this to me was just perfect. This is what I use for keychains because we make keychains. And um, so I just use this with a jump ring here. I attach it. I attach it with a jump ring. Let's see. I attach it with a jump ring here and then another jump ring here to the disc. And then I put this down at the bottom of the disc. So um, a jump ring is just a little, is, jewelry talk. I'm not a jeweler person. I am not very good at doing jewelry stuff, but, um, it, and I kind of feel like if I can do this, anybody can do it because this is not my forte at all. You use this, a very small bit and you have to make sure that when you drill into your discs that you are careful because you, you don't want to crack the disc that has that, that happened because I used a little too big of a drill bit. So you want definitely a very small drill bit. And you pla I place it on a board just because I want something that, um, this one's not a 
like so. You can see where I've drilled. <laughs> this is my board I drill, drill into. So I just pick a point. It doesn't matter where, but I pick a point and then I just drill it in. You just hold it very carefully and let the drill do the work and you can see the hole there. And you try to get it directly underneath on the opposite side. And that's all you have to do there. Move your board. So you have your holes and then you take your your jump ring, give it a little space, put the jump ring around there, close up your jump ring, there's your swivel, and then you use another jump ring. like so and then you take another jump ring down at the bottom so sorry my uh, camera kept uh, shutting off the recording so um, so I just ended up finishing that up on my own but this is what it ends up looking like so you have the jump ring down here attaching onto the crystal at the bottom. And you can do anything, you can create your own beading down there. But this is what it's gonna look like. Of course you can't see that uh, when I hold it that way, but that, and then it just, it'll just spin in the wind, which is fun. So, have fun with your sun spinners.